Blind me for this intro. It is 8 p.m. Friday evening. I got a call earlier today hoping I can haul two machines on one trailer from a job site two and a half hours away from here. And well, one weighs 12 and the other one weighs 17 or so thousand pounds. So I can't realistically haul 30,000 pounds, especially down the uh, decline that we got to do. So we're just going to pick up the excavator tomorrow because the only time that I have to go do it, we just got to do it. Pretty much it's going to be as dark as it is right now and bring it back drop it off at the customer's house and then we we'll go to my dad's place pick up the mechalek so sunday morning i can haul it to our job site super early come back load up more than likely the chipper and then man we got it's just the only opportunity to have to haul it that fits the schedule so <sighs> everything should be dialed in ready i just hauled a 308 yesterday morning and yeah, we just need to fuel the truck up and put some def in it. But I got to move some stuff around to do that because I got parked out of the way so that they could put some dirt over there. Yep, let's do this thing. <laughs> Drop my puppy dog off at old man's place. We are on the road. Make sure to fire up GPS now because as soon as we hang a left up here and then a right and then a left, we have no signal for a while. It's just easier. I like seeing the ETA up there. Whew, 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Out the door, in the truck, on the road, through the gate. Not bad. I came here to explain, but the car broke down again. And I walk home to falling on pieces. I guess you never knew the hole I fell into. We passed the point of security, I would call it. I spent a little bit of time up here in these hills and had family owned house up here so I'd come up to their place every once in a while. Knew the roads pretty well up until that but from here on out not so much. Figure if you're gonna just try everything you can out of the truck you might save five eight minutes on this whole trip and when it comes down to saving the customer money just a little bit on drive time you cost yourself more than that in tires trying to drive aggressive like a go-kart so we're just gonna putt putt. Drive aggressive? Eh. Save that for the car. Or the... Back in the day, did plenty of that in these roads. The sign was flashing at me. Yeah, this is the town of Downeyville. She is tiny. There's a tiny bridge there, and a tiny right, bridge here. Commercial Street. I don't know what that tower is, but there's no water on top of it. So this little bridge. Well, it's the first time I've crossed it with the big trailer. It's a little bit sketch. For 16 miles, continue straight. Come on, trailer. Straighten out. We ain't got time for your shenanigans. Can you guys see it back there? It's plenty wide enough. I got 20 inches on each side. Mm hmm. That bridge been like that for freaking hundred years. Ain't gonna change. It's actually a nice little town. Pretty well upkept. It's got a mountain biking scene here, so it brings in a little bit of revenue. I think that's one of the things that keeps this town really kicking ass. Cause it's it's poke up here. We've been on the road for an hour and a half, just in the mountains. I've seen maybe five cars total this morning. Two hours later, and we are here. I just need to go and turn around right here, back up to the gate. Yeah, and then walk way up there and grab the machine. Should have talked him into backing it down here for me. That would have been sweet. Oh. oh, Christ, 
Definitely <laughs> a couple mornings in a row getting up at three. That'll. <laughs> loading right here we're tracking it on the blacktop that's all there is to it i had real estate over here i think i'll just pull forward a little bit yeah that open his gate okay that's a spring right there i am definitely not packing i mean definitely not walking up there without packing It is in the 30s up here. Look at this neat little guy. Yeah, no, that was like a half mile dirt road. I was not doing that. Free Willy. <sighs> At freaking five something in the morning. Oh, that's good. Damn, this ain't cold blooded. It's all good out. The hell's the lights? Thank God it's got lights. Okay, cool. We gotta switch the pattern around, get down the road. what you get the sun is actually starting to come out get down in these canyons they sometimes you don't even get no sun at all even when it's freaking noon <sighs> we're ready to go she tucked down cab closed yep what's going on out of here i'm gonna grab something out of the ice chest because yeah we got two hours plus going back hey we are out of here let's take her nice and slow Turn tow haul on so the truck will do its own early shifting on the downgrade. Man, I never thought I'd be towing up here. This is, this is a jog. 307. Pretty nice little rig though. Very stable.
improved. I mean, what it's got to offer, it seems like not a bad little unit. So it is 6.30 now, or two and a half hours into this. We actually did a pretty quick run up the hill, grabbed the sucker, loaded up. Uh, so we got two hours-ish back to town, drop it off at the old boy's house, see if we can do that in a half hour. And then we gotta come back up here end of next week to do sump grinding with our own rigs and then haul that skid steer we hauled up here the other day back. So it's actually not that many miles up here. But, you know, curves really slow you down. Now the transport that just went by me, I guarantee you went up there to go get the chipper. That's kind of funny. Smoked them up here by like an hour. But where I loaded the excavator up at was at 5,000 feet. And I've been driving for 10 minutes, not even. Eight minutes. Already dropped 1,000 feet. Pretty crazy. But that's pretty funny though. As soon as that tripper and the excavator were done on Saturday morning. Boom. Transport's getting her done. Notice one thing that's kind of funny. Get up nice and early, do this kind of stuff. You start seeing your buddies headed to work, which is cool. I really like that. Means you're in a good circle, I feel like. No slackers. I thought I was something pretty special. I guess that's how you think when you're so young. And I stacked the bricks so high they fell down on me. Just another guy whose time has come and gone I've been running around with a crew of broken shadows Well, are you guys ready for Captain Narrow Bridge? At least this way you get a straight shot at it. So, I mean, there's plenty of room on both sides, but this one's really hard to mess up. So, let's not mess it up. Make sure nobody's coming. No fishing off the bridge. Son of a gun. Taking all the fun out of stuff nowadays. Hit a tree. People don't like pruning trees. We got a nice cafe, got a food mart, got a sign that says it's fire season. We got a tree company parked up right here. Oh, what is it? 43 degrees by the river. Moisture content high. Look at that down there. We already dropped another thousand feet. Not sure whose will be done, you can call me a sinner for a wonder and why. Hey darling, sleeping on the black top. Hey darling, running through the trees, honey. Oh. Hour and a half. Sitting in that. Let's get out stretch my legs. Oh, how you doing? Good morning. Make sure everything's tight. These ones I was a little hesitant on because I'm only hooking on one side of the track, but oh. picked up a pine cone. Yeah, I'm out of here, pine cone. Uh, Hubs are less than a hundred. So not bad at all. Pretty easy on the brakes. But there was a couple corners that snuck up on the guy. Let's go up here and just check out the river real quick. Just look at it over here. Look at this swimming hole. <laughs> not bad sight, huh? Alright. We gotta get on out of here. Traffic's starting to show up. 
Well, this is got a little sketch. I slammed that door closed too. It was already broken, I know that, but what's this? This thing might just stay. Huh, I don't get it. Kinda of sketches me out though that that happened. Same thing with the front glass. I put that down just in case we're down the road. It slams. I don't want it to break, so I'll just put it down. Lock it. Gravity's holding that one. Pretty cool photo right there. Look at that. This. Yep. Yeah, it's a hill. It's a good hill. Goes right peeling off straight in the canyon, which is a left hard, and then a hard right, and then knee 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 bridge up the other side, knee 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 passing lane, knee knee passing lane, knee knee passing lane, passing lane, big passing lane. Get up to the other side on the flat, and then we can hang a left and go out to our destination, which is a big old hill. Down a big old hill. So in the off chance my brakes were in kind of temperature, you know, felt nice to stop back there at the river. Second gear kind of holding it, but it's kind of steep. I guess there's two ways you could lose a client or the job. You show up with some broken glass, which, oof. You gotta warn a guy that the door don't latch. Ah, and secondly, probably showing up if your brakes are smoking when you show up, that's not good. But if you do smoke them, just pull over park for a little bit and then show up for the job. <laughs> you don't want them seeing that. Always down in here. I ain't got the room. I ain't, oh, geez, it's closer than I thought. Go fast. Kind of gave the old dual scoop when I pulled down in there. Just a little bit, though. Enough to wake you up. And it did. We are almost there. See if I can back into his driveway. That way I don't have to fuss around with turning around up in there because it's. There's room, but I don't know. If I can back in, I'll back in. But the pond got water in it. Lucky sucker. That's nice. He's got a couple of them. Volleyball court next to the pond. Clint is going. A lot of thing out here is literally this truck. Uh, and it's a place I wouldn't recommend coming unless you're welcome. <laughs> I'll tell you that much right now. Let's get on out of here. We gotta go pick up the Mickleck. Picked up Megalek. That machine, I believe on paper, it, it weighs quite a bit more than that 307. I Man, I want to say that 307 is around 17,000, maybe 18. I don't know, somewhere in there. It, it's lighter than an 080, which is in the 20. But this rig with the grapple and extra weight is 23 grand. And, oof. no bushy old girl. Hence the reason for the 40K trailer. Get a little bit on the high end side with the 212 trailer, but just texted Jim, the guy that owned the 307, said we're all good, machine's back to the house. He said thank you for your prompt service, appreciate it. So five hour round trip to go get that thing this morning. I stopped the clock when I got to Haas's house, which is a little bit in favor of a uh, customer, that way they don't get charged for me haul on something else you know what I mean so shaved off a uh, probably 20 minutes off the clock so five hour round trip loading unloading all that uh, whoo it is now 942 
Got to haul this thing across a different canyon tomorrow, so this was a good little test today. Tighter canyon. Sunday morning haul tomorrow to get prepped for Monday's job. Thanks, guys, for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Let me know what you guys thought about the mountain hauling and comment a couple other things below if you made it this far of things that'll get you fired from a job like this. When I say fired, I mean you lose a client. It's hard, hard to fire yourself if you're driving your own truck, but you're fired. Okay, cool. I'm going home. See you.